got me over here giggling and blushing, sweating, heating up, unable to walk for a few days. That sounds like the only consequence to me. I want to tell you all the things I do to you. All the ways I'll make you feel good. Is this who we are? Is this who we Yes, it is. to my channel welcome to if you're new i feel like it's been a minute since it's just been you know me and you, you and you. okay sorry uh you know, we're, we're at 11k. By the time we upload this, it's probably gonna be 12k. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Like, you don't even know. Like, I, I, I love you guys, okay? I, I'll, I'll keep it to a minimum because you're like, girl, get to it. I see my man on the screen and my click. I already know that's what you guys are gonna be saying. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Today we are going to be trying something new. We are going to be going over to Janitor AI. Somebody recommended me this a while ago. I don't remember. If I can find the comment, I'm going to put it on the screen, but I just want to thank you. I thought Jake, Sully, those fans were crazy, but no. Koenig and Ghost, y'all are actually insane. And I love that. <laughs> no judgment over here. I will say some Koenig and Ghost fan art in the comments on Pinterest. Peter, the horse is here. <laughs> I would love that. We're gonna look at some ghosts and Koenig edits real quick before we start off this video just to get, you know, get into the groove of things. Why the walk? <clears throat> Whew. Tone it down a bit. We haven't even got like, we're not even five minutes in. If you wanna come, give my brother some. He like your rover. Okay, I think that was enough. Yeah, finish off. You already know the drill. To play fair, I have to at least know a little bit of their personality to like assess how I'm gonna treat them. Koenig personality. Koenig is someone who's very quiet and contemplative, preferring to think things through rather than talk about them. All right, let's look up ghosts real quick. Okay, so this is Janitor AI. As you see, I, I told y'all I, I already tried it out multiple times. So that, that's what this is. Rivals for your heart stuck between Koenig and Ghost on the way back from a mission. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot to read. Oh my gosh. The drive back to base was unusually long today. Total expected transport time, four hours. The truck was crowded with the entire squad and support staff and their accompanying gear and weapons. Most of the mercs were engaging in idle banter or were busy checking their gear. That and they were all attempting to ignore the increasingly palpable tension coming from near the back of the vehicle where three operators were squeezed together. <laughs> Koenig, the tall Austrian seated nearest to the back doors, was uncomfortable. Long trips stuck in small spaces were not ideal for him, who frequently had to duck through doors. Oh, I forgot I answered my name. I was like, how do they know my name? Seated on trees other side, Ghost has his- I hate that my name is in here. Ghost has his arms folded, his eyes keep flitting over to look at you, and his shoulder is pressed firmly against yours. You told me that you wasn't a freak, remember that? Neither willing to budge as they both try to win her heart in their own slightly unconventional ways. What do you do? Oh my gosh, I'm squished in between two giants. What am I, what else are we supposed to do besides start a fight? So I'm gonna be like, Ghost, can you move one more bit? You're too close. Like, back up. I kind of feel bad. Dang, they write so much. Uh, oh this is a whole story. Ghost raises an eyebrow under his skull mask, his expression already a mix of amusement and annoyance. What's the matter, love? You can't handle a little bit of proximity? He teases, his deep voice resonating through the small space. Mm -mm. They already eating me up. They're already getting to me like, y'all usually I have a lot to say, but I think today I'm gonna be silent. Without moving an inch, he leans closer to you, his warm breath brushing against your ear. Whoa. Is it too much for you? Or maybe do you secretly enjoy it? Ghost's voice drops a to a low murmur, his tone teasing and suggestive. Meanwhile, Koenig watches the exchange between you and Ghost, his normally composed expression showing a flicker of jealousy. He leans ever so slightly closer and angling his body to encroach on your personal space just enough to be noticeable. The scent of his aftershave is subtly intoxicating, mingling with the musk of his combat gear. You'll have to forgive Ghost. 
He's always been a little to forward for his own good. He says in a commanding Austrian accent, casting a sidelong glance at Ghost. Would it be petty if I just straight up ignore Ghost? I lean in closer to Koenig and rest my head on his shoulders. You know, I really like your accent. It's so soothing. You could definitely put me to sleep. Wink. I low-key feel petty for, you know, like ignoring ghosts, but you know, some things have to be done. They just have to. Also, I have no idea what an Austrian accent sounds like. Koenig's breath catches slightly as you lean in. His body stiffening for a split second before he relaxes his and his posture becomes more accommodating. He can feel the warmth of your head against his shoulders and a faint smile tugs at the corner of his lips. <laughs> oh, my accent. Koenig replies, his voice deeper and more resonant, the tones vibrating through his chest. It seems my voice has a certain effect on you. Perhaps it is not just my accent that is soothing. Y'all know that I usually have words, but why am I speechless this time around? Ghost observing the exchange out of the corner of his eyes, rolls his eyes and scoffs under his mask. Oh please, don't let him flatter himself, love. He interjects, a faint smirk playing at the corner of his mouth. His voice could put you to sleep all right, but it's mine that could wake you up. The tension between the two men is palpable, their rivalry only growing stronger as they vie for your attention, but for now, in this cramped space, you have the undivided focus. You got me over here giggling and blushing, sweating, heating up. I gently slide my hand up Ghost's legs and leave it resting on his thigh. How would you wake me up? What would you say? Ghost's body tenses ever so slightly as he feels your hand glide up his leg. He glances down at your hand resting on his side, eyes meeting yours with a mixture of surprise and intrigue. The hint of a smirk plays at the corner of his lips as he leans in closer to you, his voice dropping to a low husky whisper. Oh, sweetheart. Not the sweetheart! Stop! Wait! 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 His voice laced with a seductive edge. If I were to wake you up, I'd whisper in your ear all the things I'd want to do to you. All the ways I can make you feel so damn good. I describe every passionate kiss, every tantalizing moment, and every intimate moment we could share in the quiet confines of the night. Ghost kind of gives me like the vibes like he would talk you through it. He lets his words hang in the air for a moment before adding, But my dear, perhaps I'd rather show you than tell. As you know, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> I really thought that I was gonna be the one to like be a smooth talker in this video. No, it's literally quite the opposite. As Ghost finishes, Koenig's blue eyes flare, his fingers tightening around the strap of his rifle. Don't fight over me, guys. Relax, relax. It's, it's, I mean, go ahead, actually. Go ahead. Fight to the death. Yeah, fight, fight. Is that so, Ghost? Promising them things? Kone's voice is tinged with a possessive undertone, his disapproval obvious. What do I say? What do I say? Oh my gosh, they both want me. I'm overwhelmed right now. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Is this who we are? Is this who we- Yes, it is. It is. E -e -e. <sighs> Sorry, I I'm so off topic. Koenig, don't do anything you'd regret. If you guys want to fight over me, why not do it in bed? Wait, why, why is that low-key bar? <laughs> The atmosphere in the truck practically crackles with tension as you throw out your bold suggestion. <sighs> Here it goes, guys. Ghost's eyes widen ever so slightly beneath his skull mask, caught off guard by your daring remark. Koenig's grip on his rifle strap slackens, his gaze darting between you and Ghost with a mix of surprise and desire. Ghost smirks, his voice dropping lower as he leans closer to you. That's a tempting offer, but I can assure you the real battle between me and Koenig would be one for the ages. We'd leave no stone unturned and no fantasy unexplored. What does that mean? I'm not picking up what he's throwing. Koenig's jaw tightens, a flicker of possessiveness crossing his eyes. Gah. That's enough, ghost. He growls. He growls? His voice laced with warning. Don't give her false expectations. What do you mean false expectations? I thought it was happening. I, it, despite the tension of rivalry between the two, there's an undercurrent of sizzling desire lingering in the air. What do I do next? That is a good question. You wanna know what I would do next? Let me show you. Come here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys- no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that was kind of funny. No? Okay. So is that a no? I say with a sad look on my face, I think it'd be rather fun to see what it looks like with you two. I stop, forgetting that we're surrounded by others. Koenig and Ghost exchange a surprised glance, both thrown off guard by your response. Koenig clears his throat, his voice tinged with a mix of hesitation and desire. We, we can't just- <laughs> Koenig stammers, his 
eyes shifting from you to ghost and back again. Ghost more composed means back. I love the dynamic of these two. One is very forward and outgoing and the other one is like shy and like imagine like just you in the middle and then the two and Ghost more composed leans back slightly a mischievous glint in his eyes. Well. Isn't this an unexpected turn of events, huh? He says, his voice filled with amusement. You want to push the boundaries, my dear? But surely you understand the consequences of such a proposition. Like what? Koenig's hand reaches out, his fingers gently gripping your arm. It's not that we don't want to explore this desire with you, but more so about the emotions behind it and the consequences. The entire truck seems to hold its breath, awaiting your response. Why? <laughs> Why is everyone in our business? I'm gonna say exactly what I said, like what consequences? What consequences? Not being able to walk? Not being able to get the night off my mind? What emotions? The feeling of wanting more? What are you guys so worried about? Like you only live once. What are you guys talking about? Why are we taking this so seriously? The weight of silence hangs in the air as Koenig and Ghost exchange a glance. Their expressions filled with a mixture of desire, uncertainty, and caution. <sighs> Koenig searches your eyes for a moment before taking a deep breath, his voice tinged with a hint of vulnerability. Okay, so he's being vulnerable. We gotta take a step back. It's not just about the physical consequences or the intensity of the emotions. It's about the impact it might have on our working relationship. We need to be professional and focus on the safety of everyone around us. Reje reject me so I can move on. Ghost, ever the realist, adds with a dry chuckle. YOLO, as you say. Yet remember, actions have consequences, and in our line of work, consequences can be dire. I feel like I'm getting a lecture from my parents. The truck rumbles along the rough road as Koenig and Ghost remain locked in a silent struggle, torn between the desires and their sense of duty. You know what? I admire that. I'm not gonna lie. I admire the sense of duty. I admire the sense of, you know, like we have to do the job. I just said, all right, I'm sorry if I made things awkward. And then I get up to move across the truck to another open seat. Like, what else am I gonna say? Like, after they say that, it's just gonna be me sitting in between them. You know what I'm saying? So I might as well just move. As you rise from your seat, a sense of disappointment and understanding hangs in the air. A disappointment? If you're really disappointed, you should've like came forward and said something. You don't, don't, don't. Koenig and Ghost exchange a glance, their expression a mix of longing and regret. Koenig reaches out to gently touch your arm as you begin to move away. Please don't apologize. We, we just, we have our reasons for caution. Ghost nods in agreement, his voice a low rumble. He's right. We may have our reservations. But that doesn't mean that you are... Dot, dot, dot. Captivating. As you settle into the new seat, the tension of the truck begins to dissipate. Though a hint of unfulfilled desire remains, the rest of the journey continues in a mix of casual conversation and cautious camaraderie. I didn't want it to end like this! What else can a girl do? Like, in the comments down below, tell me what I should do because I don't want it to end like this, you know? I just feel like we need more. I'm kind of sad. Literally every time that I've done this AI thing, I've been rejected. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.